three, two, one, go! Whoa! Looking for a kid gift that dads will love too? Look no further than this two-in-one transforming go-kart. What is up guys, this is Jimmy Chang with Andrew. Welcome back to Freshly Charged, where we review big toys for big boys. Someone told me that down in the comments and I'm gonna use it. Today we have a big boy toy, a mashup between Segway and Transformers, and it actually does transform. It's part-time hoverboard and it's part-time electric go-kart. Andrew, what do we have to expect? It speeds up to 25 miles per hour and a drifting system to get you turned around. We've reviewed go-kartish type style personal electric vehicles in the past, like this guy right here, but you can't drift drift with that thing. This, you've got four wheels, you're even lower to the ground compared to the K6, and you're able to drift corners and, and just have a ton of fun. So let's go ahead and show you what the unboxing experience is like. It's a really nice packaging job. And this, I'm not sure what this thing is. Oh, it's a little metal plaque. Look at this yeah. thing. Number 180 out of 1999, so it is a limited edition. This looks like a whole bunch of accessories. The steering for the hoverboard. The guts of this go-kart is actually a hoverboard, and so you can take out the hoverboard from the go-kart and then transform it into a hoverboard by sticking that on there. Bluetooth speaker. Four engine sound effects. Single cylinder, double cylinder, V8, V12. As you can see, it goes on the hoverboard as well. This is batteries for the speaker. We got a spoiler. This probably doesn't really do anything, but more for aesthetics. And we have a charger. This is a 55.5 volt system, something that I've never seen before. So this should take four hours to charge from empty to full. It's a good looking machine. Putting batteries in here, six of them total, right? Yeah. And then you put some batteries in here. Yeah, some triple A's. All right, well, Andrew's working on that. Let's check out this speaker, nine bot brand. We've got some instructions. And there's the speaker. Charges with the USB-C. We've got some USB-C cables. And there's the mount with some straps. Everything feels really nice. Feels like it's high quality. The speaker goes right here just like so. Clicks right in. Oh. So there's Bluetooth and we'll probably have to connect this to the app to update it. Okay, and then these blue lights are like the underglow lights. Pretty smart that you can combine two in one. Oh yeah, it's a transformer. So we've got it updating now, riding safety. You don't want to end up like this guy. Okay, so it tells you to put one foot on there. Yep. Two feet. And then you can just go forward. Woo. Backwards. And then to turn, you use your knees. So it's really weird. I think for this, I'd put on like my full face helmet. These things scare me after watching all these fail videos on these hoverboards. I am scared of hoverboards. And honestly, I've never actually been on a hoverboard. We've done EUCs, we've done a bunch of bikes, oh scooters, this weird thing. Never been on a hoverboard. Got it unlocked now. And there was some major pushback. Oh. You don't want to end up like this guy. Oh. I forgot, I should have listened to the lessons. Step off the back of it, not the front. Looks like it should be pretty straightforward to put this in. You're gonna turn it off, undo the knee control bar. So that's nice. This piece in and strap it in. And it should feel snug. We got a light going on here. And then now I need to change this to go-kart mode. We actually had to plug it in. It's charging now and it's getting late. We are going to let this bad boy charge overnight. So we've got a freshly charged battery. Then we're gonna do our walkthrough and take it for a test ride. All right, one of the things about this go-kart is it's very low to the ground. There's very little clearance and that's so that you can make really tight turns. You can drift, you can feel stable. It also means that you can't take this really off-road. So you got to find somewhere with nice smooth pavement. So we've come here to this park. Uh, parking lots work great. We've got the go-kart pro by Segway all set up. And then we've got Andrew. What is that thing called? Yeah, it's the S-Max. It's kind of a hoverboard. They call it the self-balancing scooter. That set up there is this 
right there for the go-kart. So that's gonna power us, and we have a little track set up. We're gonna see who's gonna get the fastest time, right? I think I have the clear advantage here because of my decreased weight, yeah. but Andrew has the decreased fear. This guy <laughs> is fearless, and let's see what he can do on this track. It says the max weight capacity is 220. I'm pretty much at that max, and my butt barely fits inside of this seat, and it really doesn't fit inside. I kind of force my way inside of the seat. So just understand if you're a little bit heavier, anything past 220, you really don't want to get this go-kart. But below it, it seems like it's going to be a pretty fun time. So we'll see if I can fit and see if I have fun. So there's dynamic turning, which this is pretty interesting. You can change it so it will help you drifting. Let's, I want to see it to the max. So I might turn over, flip over though. That's why I got a helmet on. Oh, you're ripping around pretty fast. Woo -hoo -hoo. Do some things. Oh, you so, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Holy cow. So yeah, I had the setting all the way for hardest drifts and then I also pulled on the emergency brake and it's a little bit too much force. Probably would be better if I wasn't so big and heavy with the drifting turned up all the way to the highest setting, which it did warn me that it could tip over. Pretty much that's what happened. And I did break this little spoiler, but it's just, a, it's an aesthetic spoiler. It's not really for anything. Scratched up the side. Very nice that he had gloves on. It could have been a lot worse. Gloves, helmet. I think that's a minimum for riding this, especially if you're gonna ride like Andrew does. And it took a pretty good tumble. And so besides the spoiler and a little bit of scuffing on the side, it's still functional. Let's see what Jimmy can do here. I'm 5'10", 170. It's tight, it's squishing on my love handles. One thing to note that this goes a lot faster than the hoverboard by itself. I love the acceleration that this thing gives you. It's, it's got a good pep to it. So this is the brake. I wasn't even using that. I was just mainly using your, oh, oh now it's double in tap is in reverse. Yep. So you double tap this. You're not gonna win any races going backwards though. This is the top speed going backwards. And then double tap on the brake to go forward. Yep. Okay. Woo! Really simple design. All right, good brakes when you double them up. I use the emergency brake and the power brake here. So this is a lot of fun. I didn't realize it would be so zippy, so maneuverable. It's crazy how can toss your room. <laughs> oh my God. This thing is a lot more fun than I would have ever expected. It does toss you around, so when you're going fast and you move the steering wheel left or right, you can feel yourself getting jostled around. At our next stop, we're gonna talk about the things that we love most and the things that we hate about this thing. Speaker is nice when it's making that revving noise. It actually feels like you're going faster. There's something about that engine noise that people love. the motor is that even though it's low to the ground when you have that motor sound going you can hear them coming and you hear them around and so you can be ready think overall how many thumbs up whoa where are you going two thumbs whoa those are all thumbs <laughs> this is a lot more fun than i anticipated i thought this was going to be more of like a kid's toy but you can actually get going pretty darn fast for me it's a little tight but i wanted to be tight in there because when you're making those tight turns i didn't want my body to feel like i was shifting in and out super responsive i felt really stable low to the ground so you're able to make those turns nice and tight so as a kid i used to go to this place called the family fun center and we used to love racing the go-karts there it's so much fun and then later on, Mario Kart, my favorite game. This is that in real life, and you're not confined to a little track. I mean, the world is your track. This would be fun for anybody who's an adult and wants to get something fun for their kids, but also a toy for themselves, so you can justify that to your wife. The go-kart can take turns really tight and very responsive. Pretty smart design that they've been able to combine a hoverboard with a go-kart and mash them two together to create one uniform machine. You're getting two toys in one. You've got the hoverboard, and then it transforms into a go-kart. We are going to keep riding this bad boy and let's talk about things that we don't like about this. 
having a blast on the Segway Go-Kart Pro. Let's talk about the things though that can be improved on it. I would like a wider seat. I thought it was just my weight, but even Jimmy squeezed inside of this thing. So it's pretty small. It's like giving birth every time I get in and out of this go-kart. There are gonna be extra batteries that are going to be needed to make this fully functional, not just the battery and the hoverboard. I did turn it and lay it on the side, but just overall, the construction of the go-kart is a little bit cheaper compared to like the GT1 or GT2 electric scooters. When you're riding it as hard as we are with as much weight as we have, these tires are starting to wear down. This tire right here, you can tell Andrew's been turning hard. And so yeah, look at this. The, the tires Holy kind of cow. Fortunately, that's an easily replaced part. We're at two bars now. We've been riding it pretty hard, pretty heavy. I wish I could ride it more. It's so much fun. I just want to be on the road more. Two, one, go! Whoa. Speaking about charge and fun, after filming this video, I noticed that this go-kart gets the most use out of all the electric rideables in my garage. So I followed my daughter for a ride to see what she thought of the go-kart and to see how much battery drain someone her size would have after a morning ride with her, our dog, and some friends. If you have lighter folks riding this, you're gonna have much better range. Had a good time on the Segway Go-Kart Pro. We rode for quite a while and Maggie only used up one bar. And that's because Maggie's a lightweight. As opposed to me and Andrew, that's why we had such quick battery drain. Yeah, I would like for it to auto sense when you go between the go-kart mode and the hoverboard mode. You do have to make sure you change those settings or else you can end up messing up the system. And then lastly, I do like Transformers. I loved the cartoon when I was a kid. I enjoy the movies. I'm not sure I'm a big enough fan that I would get a Transformers branded go-kart. And that's where I disagree. I would prefer a Transformers. I like the whole idea that it's a Transformer go-kart and can transform into a hoverboard. Check out our full written review at freshlycharged.com and when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.